Hey guys, welcome to the UF Disciple channel. Today we're going to be unboxing and reviewing the Rajin Tech 80 CPU cooler. So let's get started. Today's video is brought to you by Wootware. Wootware is a South African computer components retailer that offers a tremendous selection on a variety of different products. Not only are their normal prices usually much less than the competition, but their sale prices are even better. So head on over to wootware.co.za slash sale or check the link in the video description to learn more and woot up your life. Okay, so let's get started with unboxing this thing. It is a 92 millimeter cooler, uh, so you can see that by its discrete form factor, at least the boxes, um, uses copper pipes, heat pipes, look at that. Oh yeah, that looks good. So let's open this up and see what it looks like. I don't even know if I need the knife. Oh, I don't, look at that, that's easy. It comes off right like that, perfect. Okay, cool. All right, ooh, mounting hardware right at the top. That is nice. Okay, so you can see in this bag you have uh, rubber grommets, not necessarily just the, um, the screws. And I assume that's for the fan to help keep it quiet, which is really nice. Mounting hardware, more of that. A little, little cardboard piece. Don't need that. Okay, all right, this is the 92 millimeter fan with a nice braided cable, actually. Look at that. Okay, all right, and then let's pull out. Oh, look at that, that's cute. That's cute, look at that. The Rajin Tech Eidos Cooler. Oh, and it has the do not peel thing right there. Let's see if we can focus. Focus. There we go. Please peel off. Yeah, so let's do that. Then instructions and that, that, that thing. Let me focus again back on the table. Okay, so yeah, that box thing. And then there's nothing left in the box, it's empty. Okay, so we have this nice quaint little CPU cooler. We have the mounting hardware for the fan, rubber grommets using it to keep it quiet, and installation instructions, which is really helpful when you have various different socket types, and these are made to fit a whole bunch of different things. And okay, yep, just some good instructions on how to install it. So what what's going to happen now is I'm going to go ahead and install the CPU cooler and do some benchmarks. Um, currently in my system, I have the Cooler Master Hyper T4. Let me get the box for that. So I have the Cooler Master Hyper T4 currently installed in my system. Uh, and that does a decent job of keeping my CPUs cool. Uh, and then I'm going to install this thing. So you can already see the size difference, but let's see what the performance difference is going to be once I install it. So the Ragin Tech Eidos provides a relatively simple installation process. In total, it took me less than 10 minutes to get it mounted to my processor. And the Eidos is compatible with a wide variety of socket types, including LGA 1151 that I'm currently running in my system. The CPU cooler is 95 millimeters wide by 55 millimeters deep by 136 millimeters high. It is definitely a low profile CPU cooler and is also priced firmly in the budget region as well. Currently, you can get the Ragin Tech Eidos on sale for 299 Rand on Wootware's website or for around $26 on Amazon. The Eidos is also the little brother to the Erebos 140mm cooler and the Tysis Dual Tower 140mm nickel cooler, which looks stunning. The budget price of the Eidos isn't overtly noticeable in the design of the cooler. However, um, the plastic nuts to secure the backplate show a little cost cutting, but the rubber grommets to mount the fan for anti-vibration make up for that. So the fan itself is 92 millimeters and has a variable speed controlled by PWM of 1000 to 2200 RPM. And so now that we have all of those specifications out of the way, how does the cooler actually perform? Well, as I mentioned earlier, the cooler that I'm currently using in my system was the, the Cooler Master Hyper T4 120 millimeter cooler. And I'm also currently running an Intel i7-6700K Skylake processor overclocked to 4.4 GHz. I ran a few different tests to see how well each of the coolers performed. At first I recorded the idle temperatures, then the temperatures while playing Elder Scrolls V Skyrim, which wasn't that CPU intensive, then the temps while I played Dungeon Defenders 2, a more CPU intensive game, and it kept my 6700K at 80% load throughout the gameplay. 
And then finally, I did a stress test using ASUS's ROG RealBench, running that test for an hour. I ran all of these tests twice, once with the side panels of my case on and once with them off. And the results aren't entirely surprising. While, while the Raging Tech Eidos was sufficient for keeping my temps below the thermal limits of, of the 6700K, the 92mm fan simply isn't able to move as much air as the 120mm fan on my Hyper T4. So you can see in the chart that there was a several degree difference in each of the tests between the Eidos and the T4, except for in the idle temperatures. However, I don't think this means that the Eidos failed. The cooler is limited by its form factor and isn't designed to be cooling an overclocked i7 chip, but it does have its place. So it certainly is going to give you cooler temperatures than the included fans that come with the Intel or AMD chips. And seriously, if you're still using those, throw them out. And I think that's where this cooler has its place. If you're building a system with a non-overclocked chip and you either want a low profile or budget cooler, the Eidos is perfect. It looks good, has anti-vibration grommets to keep noise low, and is simple to install. And while I don't plan on keeping this on my i7-6700K system, I do plan on moving it over to my i5-4460 system, which won't take this, which won't tax the cooler as much. So a special thanks to Wootware for sending this cooler over for review. If you're located in South Africa, head on over to wootware.co.za and check out their immense selection, phenomenal prices, and top-of-the-line customer support staff. And I want to give a special shout out to Dimitri for helping me and being super helpful whenever I contact the chat. So you can also check out their great sales on the, the Raging Tech Eidos and other products while you're there and wood up your life. So that's it for my unboxing and review of the Raging Tech Eidos cooler. Like this video if you liked it, dislike it if you thought it was poop, but you can also leave a comment down in the comment section letting me know what other products you want me to check out in future videos. Also feel free to subscribe if you want to keep up to date on all the computer hardware reviews, how-tos, unboxings, and all of that kind of stuff that I'll do in the future. And if you're looking to watch more of my stuff, you can check out the card in the top right hand corner to see my Skylake build project where I put the i7-6700K and all of that stuff together. So thanks for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.